the Handycam can because he does it with a something and makes the world HD. So, I found the charger, but I ordered another charger because the way things work in this house, if you want something, if you want to find something, you have to order it online first because this thing was sitting around virtually in plain sight. And as soon as we ordered another charger, I found the original charger. Now the new charger is going to be here in like another three days. So now I have two chargers. So the handy cam works because I have it on a charger and it makes the HD good. But enough about handy, but enough about the candy man. So I'm going to power this thing on. I have been uh, testing it before, so it's not like you're going to get any live reactions. But you get to hear that this thing sounds. It sounds fucking nice. Uh, so the disc I'm using right now is full, so it's not going to record anymore. It gives you that error message. Um, because the battery is dead, and the only way it works is if I have it on a wire. Then it keeps resetting the date. Because you see, I just took the battery off, but it's still running. So I need to order a battery charger next, because I know right after I'm going to find the battery charger. But so uh, when it comes to setting times, you have you have the time zone, you have uh, daylight savings time on or off, then you have the date. And this just confirms that even though there's a sticker on it, that this thing is from 2006. So I'm just going to hit OK to everything here because the date doesn't matter because it keeps resetting the date. So, oops, let me get my finger out of there. So I have the viewfinder open right now, but you can actually have it closed and uh, your display will pop up inside this little lens right here. I think you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. The little blinking lights are because it's saying that the disc is full, but I know that full well. So you have the classic viewfinder that you can uh, flip down, flip up, and then flip around. And then there's my camera, and then there's me, hello. I'm trying to look in the camera just to make sure that the focus isn't wonky, because if you don't know, this camera has a horrible time focusing. So there's that. All right, so this just has your typical camera features. This has the start and stop to record. It has the zoom in, zoom out on these little buttons on the viewfinder here and it actually has a little like switch here for the zoom in and out as you can see so that's cool and then you can actually take photos with this camera but they're not the best photos they're not like the uh the old school uh 2000 nikon that i have they're not as good but it still takes pictures and from what i can tell the pictures take up way less space on the uh, CD than the videos because I've taken a couple pictures on some full CDs and it has really no impact on them. So I don't know if uh, the amount of pictures you can take are different from uh, the amount of uh, footage you can hold from the CDs, but yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually op gonna open up the CD holder and put in a new CD and you can get that awesome old school disc reading sound. So let me uh, pop it open. There you go, and now, uh, and now it's saying that the disc is open, but if I take the disc out, do this delicately because that's how I do it. Then it'll, oh, I think I have to close it. Now it's looking for a disc, but it quickly realizes there, there's no disc, so I'll go and get a new one and be right back. All right. Back with the new disc. Remember when everyone's biggest fear was scratching these things? Well, the only fear here is just a couple fingerprints that are on there. But we're going to pop this one in, and you're going to see how awesome it sounds when it reads a new disc. So I open this thing up again. And look at that old school uh, disc player setup. That, that brings back memories. So you pop the new disc in, close it.
and that's how it accesses the disc. I don't know how well the camera picked that up, but that was awesome. And what's cool is you actually get a first use date and the disc name on each uh, thing when you uh, when you first put it in the camera. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but it did show that on me. And this disc actually has some recording space left, so that's going to be good. And I can record a little test run for an audio, which I already did, but to show you guys, I will uh, be right back. Now to, access, now to access the disc, you simply go to the play and edit button. And it'll bring you to the folders where everything's been used, where everything's been stored. And I can click on the newest video, and it'll play. This is a test run of my Sony Handycam doing an audio test and a video test. All seems to be going well. So that was my little test there. And I don't know if the camera picks up, but you can actually hear the CD adjusting. These are just some old home videos that my mother took many years ago, which was on the CD. I'm not too familiar with what's on every CD, even though I have gone through all of them. It kind of slips my mind what's on each because not all of them are labeled. So there's that to deal with. But, uh, but I don't know if I showed this off in the last video, but go to play and edit again, just so I can go back to video right now. Uh, What's cool is I can actually switch the aspect ratio from uh, 3 to 4 or 4 to 3, however you want to pronounce it. I've always pronounced it 3 to 4, and I'm most likely wrong, but I don't care. So you can switch it from 3 to 4 to uh, 16 to 9 with the white select. You can see there. And when you actually want to go into picture mode, which uh, if you can see there on the, uh, on the power thing, it says mode, if I flick that, then it'll go into picture mode. So you can take pictures with this camera. And there's a little picture button up there. So I'll take a picture just for reference. And that goes into the picture folder. You just go to play and edit. And here you can see because I'm in picture mode right now, it automatically defaults to this folder. And you can see the picture I just took. This too can switch between uh, 3 to 4 and 16 to 9 uh, when you're in the main screen. So I'll just go back there and white select and you can go there and it'll actually tell you uh, that you're switching. When you go to uh, video switch, it'll actually tell you what you're switching between. I don't know if the camera picks it up. Switching between uh, 1 meter, I think, and 0.7 meters, image size changed. And up there it says fine. So yeah. There's a easy mode which makes it, which just makes all the buttons larger. I've tried that out. There's the white select I showed off. And then there's the display and battery information. Uh, the display and battery information just gives you a date set. And it also shows you the battery. But because the battery is dead and it's not plugged in right now, it won't show anything on the battery. But I do need to find the battery charger so I can use this thing when it's not on a wire. Because if I take this thing off the wire, immediately it's dead. Plug it back in, it immediately works. If I can get it in. Yep, there we go. And it defaults to video mode because this is a digital video camera. So there's uh, that, I showed that off. There's the backlight. Uh, I think this is to like dim and brighten it. Yeah, I see some minuscule differences that my camera isn't picking up, but so be it. Then up here, you have the disc, ac disc access release. And uh, you also have a uh, night shot plus, which is basically just night vision. Here's just another demonstration for you guys. Now the camera didn't make that out too well because, you know, camera to camera doesn't work that right. But the night vision does work fine. One other thing I haven't shown off is uh, the night vision, or sorry, the access light actually blinks a little 
and I can feel minuscule changes in uh, the rotations on the CD in there whenever that light blinks, just like ever so slightly. And something else that's interesting is when I switch to uh, playback mode so I can see all the videos that are on the CD, when I go on to a page that has one video showing instead of six, which is what the screen takes up, the rotations on the CD actually slow down, kind of noticeably. Like I can really feel the camera vibrating in my hand right now because of the rate the CD's turning, but when I'm on a one show page, it actually turns pretty slowly. So that's very interesting. So that about wraps it up for today's video. Uh, one of these days, uh, I will get a CD burner. I actually have one coming in the mail right now, but it's a question of whenever the hell it's going to show up, because we all know Amazon is not reliable with its delivery dates. But until then, I'm not going to show any videos off because they're kind of all stuck on here because I can't transfer them out until I get that CD burner. When I do, I'm actually going to be able to clear all these off and maybe use them for recording videos purposes. We'll have to see about that. Each one is half an hour max a piece, varying a couple minutes here and there. But that'll be that'll be for another day. So for now, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.